Time now for Reporters Roundtable to put the headlines in perspective. Bud and Ross both still with us. Ross, let's start with you and the president setting off that firestorm but for calling for Republicans to uh, fight their own House Freedom Caucus and Democrats as well. How can Trump get anything passed, especially with tax reform, without conservatives? Well, he's going to have to get somebody else. You know, it doesn't matter where your majority comes from as long as it comes from somewhere. And for every Republican he gives up, he's going to have to find a Democrat. Is that possible, Bud? We don't even know what his plan is. He says, well, you know, vote against the Democrats, vote against the conservative Republicans. We, he's going to have to show us where he's going to get a majority from. You know, how's he going to ne negotiate with Democrats and keep the faith of his party? Are there any Democrats willing to sit down and negotiate I don't with the president? He, he's, he's a wounded duck at this point, and I don't see anybody that's willing to negotiate with him. And for, I don't see the Freedom Caucus softening up either. Ross, it's hard to believe, but we're already talking 2018, and some races are already shaping up. Uh, Beto O'Rourke, congressman from El Paso, first Democrat running against uh, Senator Ted Cruz. Is he really in trouble? A lot has changed since uh, last year. You know, Ted Cruz himself was a long shot, so I want to put a big fat asterisk on this and say, you know, there's not no chance here, but it's a slim chance. It's a red state. He's from El Paso. That's never that my home city's never elected a statewide politician in Texas. Uh, Cruz looks stronger in Texas than he does nationwide. So it's a tough race, but you know, uh, O'Rourke wants to make the make the, the attempt. And O'Rourke might not, might not be the only one, right? He but. might not be the only Democrat, and then Cruz might not be the only Republican. But uh, you know, several Republicans have looked at the race and said, "Could you beat Ted Cruz?" But you can't beat him running to the left, and there's no room to run to the right. So uh, there's probably just no way to beat Cruz in a primary. Uh, Beto is going to have the same problem that Democrats have had for years. There's not really any Democratic Party structure in most of Texas. I want to ask you briefly, Bud, too, about talk of Ken Paxton facing a challenge from Christy Craddock, the railroad commissioner. You know, How likely is that? Well, of course, the question is, is Ken Paxton going to be there? Is he still going to be in office by the time the next right. election runs around? People are you know, trying to put their ducks in a row and... and uh, and, and try to figure out what to do. You know, Christy Craddock is like a lot of Republicans. They see the window closing. I mean, you know, the demographics in Texas still yeah. say that Democrats will be able to win in a, one or two more election cycles. Christy Craddock, George P. Bush, there's a long list of young up-and-coming Republicans who need to move up the ballot before that window closes. We're also about 40 seconds left here, too. Let's talk about the school voucher bill that passed out of the uh, Senate. It only applies to, to metro areas like Dallas County, Tarrant County, Collin County, Denton County, Travis County. How in the world is that going to fly in the uh, House? Well, they had to amend it to get it out of the Senate, so they had to change it there some. The House has said this is a no-go. Dan Huberty, the head of the House Public Education Committee, has said he doesn't think it'll go anywhere. But it's been around for a long time. There are a lot of other pieces of legislation that you might be able to attach it to. I don't think we've heard the last of this. Final word, bud. I, I think, uh, you know, it draws a line. It says it doesn't apply, apply in any cities smaller than Lubbock, Waco. And the senators from Lubbock and Waco voted for it because their cities weren't part of it. I imagine what the House will do is put Lubbock and Waco back into it and send it back to the Senate. We are not done with it. Gentlemen, thank you guys very much. We appreciate it. And thank you for watching as well.